This video explains how to set up a class, add students to the class, and assign a project. We would recommend adding students to your account before following the steps in this video. Firstly, it is necessary to have at least one saved blog in your account to use as the project template. If you have not created a blog yet, go ahead and click the Create New Blog button. Select a template, make any edits you would like, and save the blog. Once you return to your account dashboard, you can proceed with following the steps in this video. The first step is to create a class. Click on the Classes tab on your dashboard. Any existing classes you have will appear. They can be accessed by clicking on the class name in blue. To add a new class, click on the Create New Class button. You can name your class and provide any description that you would like. You can also upload a class avatar. Click on the pink Save Class button to create the class. You will receive a green message that the class has been created. Various details are shown on the class page, such as the number of students in the class, the number of blogs on the class page, and the number of projects assigned to that class. At the top right, you have options to change the class settings, such as the name. You can delete the class as well as message all students in that class. The second step is to add students to the class. Scroll down and in the right side of the class page, click the Add Students Here button. The page opens to two lists. The list on the right shows any students who have already been added to the class. The list on the left shows all students who are available to the class. Beneath the list on the left is a very useful search box. As you start to type a student's details, the list will locate relevant students. Click Assign to move the student to the class list on the right. When you have finished selecting the students, press the large Assign Classmates button. You will receive a green message that you have successfully assigned the students to the class. The students will receive a message in their Glockster message section notifying them that they have been assigned to the class. The third step is to create a project and assign it to the class. You can click on the projects link on the class page or return to the dashboard and access the projects tab. Click the create new project button. Click on the blog that you wish to use as the project template. It will appear in the box on the right. Name the project, describe it, and add tags as you wish. Next, select the class or classes that you wish to assign the project to and insert any accompanying message for the students. Finally, click the Save Project button. You will now be on the project page and a message will be sent to the students that they have been assigned a project by you. The project page shows the status of each student's blog and whether they have started and completed their blog. To keep their blogs private from their classmates, students should save their blogs as unfinished. Once the blog is saved as finished, other students are able to view it and it will be visible on the class page. Let's go to a student account and see how they access a project. You can see in the student's message section that they were notified that they have been assigned to the class and that a project has been assigned to them. The students click on the message to open it and then on the link to the project to go to the project page. They can also access the project page via the Projects tab on their dashboard. To begin their blog, it is important that students use the pink button Create Glog for this project. When editing a blog, students can make as many or as few changes and then save it.
As we view the student's dashboard, it should be noted that if the students use the Create New Glog button at the top of their dashboard, the Glog will be created independently of the project. When you return to the project in the teacher's account, you can see the status of the student's Glog. You can also send a reminder to all the students or just to an individual one. If you have any questions, please contact the Glockster EDU customer care team via the Need Help tab on the right side of your account dashboard. Mm -hmm.